Yes, man, you're still tuning in to XN Live Channel 263. But go, Mitty Hard, man. Of course, man, it is social media. On social media, rather, it is XN Live across all social media platforms. And the question we have for you today is how are you coping with anxiety and stress? Let us know, man. It is XN Live, as I said before, on all social media platforms. We are engaging and we're speaking about anxiety and stress on the show today as well as doing some stress relief exercises with Sipu. So you do not want to miss out if you're just joining in, man. Va, va, see. But right now, we Heading over to Luandile in the lounge with Sherry Lean, that is a resident of Cape Town TV. Right now, over to you. Oh man, I'm so excited by this conversation because I think it's one that everyone definitely experiences. We all do go through levels where we experience stress and anxiety, and it's so good to speak about it and see how we can all help each other to move into a better mental space. People under stress experience mental and physical symptoms such as irritability, anger, fatigue, uh, so many different things like digestive troubles that happen, difficulty sleeping. Anxiety, on the other hand, is having a huge stress about something that doesn't exist. So maybe your job is going well, your friendships are going well, but all of a sudden you think, no man, maybe my friendships are going to end tomorrow or my job is going to fire me because of scenarios that don't exist. So that, what, that is what rather anxiety looks like. Joining us in the building is one of our own, Sherilyn, here to talk to us about healthy coping mechanisms. Welcome to the show, Yoga Guru. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Fancy meeting you here, hey? I feel like it's always just <laughs> healthy talks with you. Like one day we're working out our body with some yoga, other times we're talking about our mind. Mm. Well, do you think that it's possible for humans to experience high levels of stress and anxiety? And what does that look like for a regular human being? Yeah, I would say definitely for us, I think the pandemic made us very aware of where we are mentally with mm. ourselves. And in today's life, if you think about, you know, instant gratification, that also brings on a lot of anxiety because you have a fear, like, are people seeing me this yeah. way as you discussed earlier? Mm. So uh, definitely in this day age, you can have occupational you yeah. know, stresses, you have family stresses, you have um, whole, uh, people, your friendships like you mentioned. Yeah. All this stuff are so much that we, we tend to get to a point where we either crack, mm. abuse alcohol, mm. or just have a mental breakdown. Yeah. So what do we do about it? Mm. How do we identify it? That's mm. the first thing. At first, identifying it, but also I just want to speak about the mm. fact that, you know, some, sometimes we identify it and we see people going through stress and anxiety, and then in my mind, I'm like, damn, I don't want to end up there. So is there a way that we can avoid experiencing stress and anxiety as human beings as a whole? Yes. Loa, do you yeah. know yourself? Yes. You know yourself. Yeah. You know when you're coming on with the flu. Yeah. You know, you know, something is not right, your ankle twisted maybe a week before, but now something is not right. Maybe you tore a ligament. That is how we get to know our body. So how do we do that by getting to know our minds? Mm. You know, yeah. it's sitting in, checking in with yourself. Yeah. What are my triggers? Why am I feeling this way this yeah. morning? Why did I wake up this way? Yeah. And you know, sometimes we have to identify where are these triggers and yeah. where is it coming from? Yeah. Because sometimes we watch these series, yeah. Netflix series, it's so emotional, it's so high adrenaline, you yeah. go sleep with that energy, you wake up with that energy. Mm. So <clears throat> yes, you as a person yeah. can identify that by sitting in and checking in with yourself. Yeah. Where is it? Is it my family that is stressing me? Mm. Is it my friendships? Mm. You know, and who are these friends? Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a process of elimination yeah. and that is the check-in. And also I love what you're saying because uh, you then identify it, but also like some people want to avoid stress completely and I, th I don't think that's possible. I feel like oh, no, no. <laughs> it's a stressful place. Sometimes you're going to experience stress exactly. within your community, within your work. work. It's just how you learn to deal with it and that's the topic for today actually, speaking about coping mechanisms mm. to uh, anxiety and stress. What are your coping mechanisms that you have or maybe advice that you can give to me yeah um, <laughs> you know the yogi the yogi that i am in me is something that just brought me to a place every day it's the mindfulness yeah. it's the meditation mm. it is eating healthy mm. you know have a have a good health eating plan yeah. also also sleep is very important yeah but then i come back to the fact is also after you've identified your triggers what do you do? Yeah. It can be that you're too much on social media Ooh. because it gives you anxiety Drag because me. every time, you know? Drag me. <laughs> so it's identifying and what do we do about it? Yeah. We start monitoring those, mm. you know, after you've been on social media, even yeah. if you have to tell your app, mm. after 10 minutes, I should be off. Yeah. Remind yourself, take time out. Now you ask, how do I feel now after I've had that consumed so much? Yeah. It's consuming news. It's yeah. consuming alcohol. It's yeah. all those aspects. Once you have identified and triggered, 
first of all, mindfulness. Yeah. You don't have to, if you're not physical to do, able to do yoga in a physical sense, yeah. it's also the sitting. Mm. The sitting down, starting your day with an intention that mm. is true to what you want for this day. I don't want to stress. Because remember, anxiety is also the fear of things that is nothing, yeah. that it's that, not going to happen. That, that don't exist at the exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fear itself. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And today's topic also, we're speaking about vaping. Do you mm. think uh, vaping is a, is a stress uh, reliever or a coping mechanism for people who do vape? Vaping I think it, it uh, just like the cigarette, it's a coping mechanism mm. at the one hand, but it can also be a fashion thing. Mm. Why can it not be something I want to do? Yeah. Because right now, back then, when cigarettes were allowed to be advertised, we people picked up cigarettes because it looked cool on movies. Yeah. Now we're doing vape because it looks mo good in music videos. Yeah. It looks good when you hang out with your hookah pape and you know what I'm saying? Mm. So once again, the question is, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? I think that's a really, really good question. And hopefully you guys are answering all those questions on our social media platform. Hopefully you guys are learning what it is and how you can deal better with your stress. I know I'm learning so much more. I feel like I need to get into the physical side of it, go to the gym, because that really does so much for my mind. Right now, though, I feel like it's time to head over to the dining room to see what my girl Kizzy Kiz is up to with our artist for the day. Hey, hey.